Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Now let's look at the operating cost assumptions. Now uh, the depreciation is basically the loss in the value of an item over the years because of it being old. So you buy an aircraft and if even if you do not use it much or not at all, when you sell it after some time you will hardly get the same price, there will be some depreciation. So that was assumed to be 10 percent. This is the standard practice in helicopter operations. Now when you have to buy these items and you have to operate these items, you have to go for insurance. And the insurance varies in aircraft industry from half percent to one and a half percent of the cost of the item. Okay. An established airline pays around half percent premium. Half percent of the cost of the aircraft per year is paid to the insurance agency towards premium for third party damage and to cover all the liabilities. In the case of airships, it is a new field, it is a new subject. People do not know about it, so we have assumed it to be four times more expensive, so 2 percent. Similarly, maintenance is going to be a recurring cost and this depends on the labor charges for doing the work as well as the cost of the standard spares. Certain items in, a, in an aircraft or airship or helicopter have to be changed after so many hours of operation. Certain items have to be changed or worked on after every flight or before every next departure. So all of that is uh, uh, standard and the data is available from the manufacturers. The next expenditure is the crew. Crew will consist of ground crew and the flight crew. So for the flight crew, we assumed pilots and we assumed here that the airship pilots will be as paid as the helicopter pilots. There is no reason for us to say that they are going to be paid more or less. Okay. And then the fuel costs. So if you look at the direct operating cost comparison, okay, two airships and two helicopters, look at the numbers. First of all, let us look at the money that you have to pay to buy it. So a helicopter will cost around 1.64 or 1.9 million dollars, airship will cost 2 million dollars and 3.5 million dollars roughly. So the initial cost of airship will be higher. The only reason for this as I said is less availability. It, they are not available very easily as compared to helicopters. Therefore their initial costs are very high. Now the speed at which a helicopter can fly is more compared to the speed at which the airship can fly. Therefore to cover the same distance we need more time. So the utilization number of hours it flies per month is going to be far more for airships compared to the helicopters. In this case we are using the same mission that means the number of people to be transported is fixed. And now in one case we use helicopters to do that particular job. And in the other case we are using airships. You can notice that the insurance premium is 2 percent of the initial cost, it is more for airships compared to helicopter. Interestingly, the fuel cost for airships is larger. For TLG, it, uh, A60 it was 0.13 million and for Bell helicopter it was 0.107 million. And for US LTA it is 0.2 million compared to 0.1 million, so double. Now since beginning I have been saying that airships consume less number of fuel, fuel costs are ignored. But what is the reality? The reality is that the fuel costs for airships are coming to be double that of the aircraft, uh, uh, helicopters. Okay. But we know that the consumption of fuel in airships is far, far lower compared to consumption of fuel in helicopters. So what could be the reason? 
for this cost to be doubled. No, in this case all carry 5, all of them carry 5 passengers. All these 4 aircraft, 2 airships, 2 helicopters are carrying 5 passengers per trip. Utilization, that is fine, but the number of passengers carried is the same. No, but helicopters also consume a large amount of fuel. I am telling you this information that the volume of fuel consumed is far lower in the case of airship than helicopters. The type of fuel. Type of fuel, that is the thing. Helicopters use a particular kind of fuel which is subsidized and available. Airships use a different kind of fuel which is not subsidized and not easily available. So, the difference in the fuel pricing is only because of policies. It is only because of the current. Now, this can be easily changed if we make a case to the government that we are operating these airships to provide connectivity. So, give us a subsidy on fuel or make available this fuel at that particular place at a lower price. So, even now for example, people who fly a single seater or two seater planes, okay, they use gasoline and then you have or have gas and then you have jet fuel. So, the jet fuel is actually cheaper than the petrol that you buy in the for the automobiles. Today in India, the jet fuel is cheaper. Okay. So, this particular difference in the fuel cost is just an anomalous situation. It is like there is a subsidy on diesel, therefore diesel is cheaper than petrol. Okay. But we said that we cannot assume that overnight we can expect uh, anyone to change rules in our favor. So, even though the volume of fuel consumed is much less, the cost of fuel is larger. So, let it remain. Let it remain. Annual maintenance costs for airships are much lower because helicopters have very large number of vibrating oscillating parts. They have much higher wear and tear. The whole idea of producing lift is by rotary mechanism. So, the maintenance costs are much larger. In airships, the maintenance costs are much lower. Similarly, spares. Spares are much lower compared to the helicopters. You can notice helicopters has very high cost of spares. Depreciation of airships will be higher because the initial cost is higher. Depreciation is 10 percent. So, it is definitely higher. And if you look at all the numbers, you will find that the annual direct operating cost, if you add all these numbers together, it comes to the 0.926 uh, you know million US dollars, but the hourly costs are lower because they fly for more hours. Okay. So, this hourly cost is actually a misnomer. It is given here, but it is a misnomer because you have two systems, they do not fly at the same speed. So, one of them flies let us say one and a half times more. Therefore, if you divide the cost per hour, you are actually giving it an undue advantage. So, I will not worry about the last line, which shows that the hourly DOC is more than half for the airships. Okay? That is just because you can see the number of hours flown. But look at the annual direct operating cost. In 8 months, how much money has to be spent? It comes to, to meet the requirement, to, to, to fulfill the same transportation need of transporting so many passengers. It is 0.9 million and 1.2 million as against 1 million and 1.1 million. So, the answer is that they are, they are almost as expensive as helicopters, not too much more, not too much less. But they can be made less if we allow it to get the fuel available at uh, lower costs. Okay. So, these are the key results, yes. Whether in the what sense? 
it has been considered. See, as I mentioned to you, we have only assumed certain windows in which the aircraft will fly, will be able to fly. So, I am not looking at an 8 hour a day window or something like that. I was looking only at 2 hours window in a day for it to fly. So, there will be one flight on each side. So, these details are available in my paper, so which I will share with you. I will put it on the Moodle page for you to read through. So, we have done a careful study in which we have not assumed that it keeps flying even despite bad weather. Four months in a year, nothing flies. In the remaining months also, there is only a very small time window in which barely one operation takes place or one flight takes place. Okay. So, if you look at the seat, uh, cost per seat, now this is what uh, Ameya was saying. If you look at the cost per seat, okay, I will not look at the hourly costs, I will look at the cost per seat. So, annual cost per seat is 0 0.185, 0 0.243, which is lower than the cost for the Bell helicopters. So, yes, uh, TLG A60 plus is expensive because initial cost is very high. That itself is a very big killer because depreciation is 10 percent, insurance is 2 percent of the initial cost. That itself is very high. But if you look at US LTA, the operating cost per seat per mile uh, is 0 0.185, annual, not, not per seat per mile, sorry, it is the annual, annual cost per seat, 0 0.185 against 0 0.205 and 0 0.221 for the helicopters. So, in summary, operating costs are quite similar. They are not substantially lower. The fuel consumption of airships is actually nearly two or three times lower. So, I have not mentioned here the volume of fuel consumed. The volume of fuel consumed is one third or half. Okay. So, that is a very big saving the environmental costs of that are very attractive. It is a greener transportation system. Similarly, the duration in which helicopters can fly is half. That means, helicopters can get you there in double the time, in half the time. Airships will take double the time. But the competition is not between airship and helicopters actually. The competition is between airships and other modes and helicopters and other modes. Helicopters will travel faster but they will cost more. Airships will travel double the time, but they will cost much less. Both of them against the ground transportation will take far, far less time. A journey of one and a half days will become a journey of a couple of hours or three hours. So, airships will offer a much superior level of comfort, okay. but helicopters have a much higher dispatch reliability compared to airships. So, this was the general conclusion of the first study and this study was published first as I presented as a paper in an international conference. There was a conference which took place in Norway, air transport for remoter regions. So, I presented this paper in that conference in April 2009. Subsequently, a book has come out uh, called as uh, Air Transport Provision in Remote Areas by Ashgate Publications. In that book, this particular study has gone as a chapter. Okay. Uh, so, the book is available in our library and I have also kept one copy in departmental library and I can always mail and upload the uh, article for you to read. Okay. Now, are there any questions or comments about the first case study before we go to the next case study which is much more interesting by the way. Anybody has any questions? No queries? So, when there are no queries, that means either it is a bouncer which you could not hook or pull or everything is clear to you, crystal clear. So, I assume that things are clear. If not, I am available for any clarification. <laughs>